Good afternoon, everyone. This is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Thank you guys so much for being on my channel for another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Southwest Rapid Rewards credit card. Okay. A lot of people, they want to know, you know, you see the commercials, you know, things of that sort for all, not just this card, but any type of card. Okay. And so this is a review dedicated to this, uh, this particular card. I'm not promoting it in any way, shape, or form. Southwest is not paying me, okay, no, directly for anything. So the thing about it is, is that people want to know, are the rewards real, okay? I just so happen to have one, okay? And, of course, you'll see that in the image of the video. I don't know everything will be blocked out because I know Photoshop. I don't know if you can take you know, all type of stuff off, but don't worry. The numbers won't be on it, I promise. Um, but people want to know, like, okay, if I get one, are the rewards real? Now, of course, I don't. I don't have like. I'm sure that there's one for different airlines, American, um, American Airlines. Um, you know, I don't know Delta. I mean, you know, so again, I like flying Southwest. I will fly anything, of course. But um, in this particular case, uh, it just happened to work out, I guess. So, but we've always, you know, uh, I'm originally from Memphis, so uh, I, Southwest always goes there. It's always been convenient. And actually, my wife was the one that um, got the, you know, the Southwest card. So, of course, when I had one, I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so I bought, uh, so let's just go, I guess I'm going straight into it now. So, um, so my first purchase uh, was a, I had a, a bought a ride in Lawnmower. Now, I don't think that you have to, um, I, you may or may not have to spend a certain amount, um, you know, to get like their, um, I think like their introductory points, as they call them. And um, I think if you spend like, I don't know, maybe 500 to 1,000 within the first six months, it all depends. I'm going to have different, I don't know, because again, this is July, was it 15th? So it's 2017. So I don't know what type of offer they're going to send you or whatever you're going to see or whatever. But I say that to say, because I think I had to spend a certain amount to get like a certain amount of points. And, and then, then again, I don't want people to think, because there's a lot of you know, people that's like, well, you know, you're just building debt and things of that sort. Here's the deal. Um, I had to get a ride a lot more anyway so I was gonna I was gonna pay for one anyway I had the cash to pay for it anyway but that's the thing see smart people that know how to use their credit cards they say okay cool I already got the money for it and if I pay cash for it and I just get the receipt then of course you get nothing for it but since I use my Southwest Rapid Rewards credit card I was able to get I think like something crazy like 40,000 points or something like that and you're probably like well, what's that equate to well um, and my wife were actually planning a trip pretty soon and we, you can pay for your points I think I think you just pay the taxes on it, but it it took care of uh, three flights, uh, and it's me, my wife, and of course my my two year old, um, and then of course that's round trip, okay, and just that alone took care, and it was and it just I don't say where we're flying to, but um, you know it's it's nationwide, you know, so it, it's it's in the U S. So, but either way, and these aren't like cheap tickets. I mean, these are like probably I don't know like close to three hundred dollars a ticket. You know, so I mean, so that saves you nine hundred dollars. So if you want to set now, granted, that was forty thousand points. It was entry introductory, but at the same time, since that time, I've been a Rapid Rewards member anyway. So with my normal purchases and normal flights and things of that sort, I already had eight to ten thousand points of my own. So if forty thousand will save me nine hundred dollars, let's just say let's just round it up to nine, somewhere between eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. If it saves me that kind of money and you're getting rewards as well too, I mean, come on, it's a, it's a no-brainer. What type of score do you have to have to get one of these cards, right? Well, I would say probably somewhere between 660, 670, somewhere in there. Like, like on my other videos, like with the American Express. Now, I do put American Express still higher than this particular card. Now, the financial backing, because that makes a difference. A lot of people don't know who the financial uh, backing of these cards. For example, Kohl's, uh, the clothing store. Capital One is the financial backing for that particular credit card. Okay, So the financial backing for Southwest Rapid Rewards is going to be Chase Bank. So technically, you're applying for a Chase Bank credit card and you know Chase don't play. Okay, So that's why I say 660, 670, somewhere around that range. 650 is possible, but again, this is normally not a person's first credit card. I, I just must say that. Chase does not play around. So, I mean, now, does that mean that a person can never get a Chase Rapid Rewards credit card? Of course, if it's Southwest, um, that doesn't mean that they can't. It's just a matter of, I doubt it's going to be like a person's first credit card because to get something like that, they're going to need to have some type of history of paying bills on time. See, these companies are not in the business of just giving credit cards to anyone. They want to make sure that since they're taking on the risk, they want to make sure that people can actually pay the bill. 
because they know people are going to be points driven. That's see now it's something different to chase for. See, here's the deal. What I tell my clients is that don't look for things to buy. Just buy things you already buy. You know, so like you already buy groceries, you already put gas in your car, you already pay certain bills. There's that's like some people that's like nuts about it. Like like crazy coupon people. It's nothing wrong with them, not that they're crazy crazy, but like you know people that are dedicated, right? There are some people that are like extremely dedicated to like the points on their credit card. They pay their utility bills with their credit. It's not, I'm not against it. You do whatever you want to do. But the whole point of this video is, of course, how to get approved for one. I would say, man, I, I hate to say 650. Like 660 is going to be like where I think you should be. Now, I do know that there's credit score changes coming, things of that sort. But listen, these banks are not changing their requirements because, again, this is a, and I'm not saying that people are all that to have one, but I mean, come on, the highest score you can get is 850, right? So, I mean, they, they, I mean to get to be within a 200 point margin, 180 point margin, that's a lot, you know? So, I mean, they want to make sure that you can actually pay this bill on time. I say that to say because especially if you become a dedicated point person, you're paying bills with this. You're talking about $100 bills and $200 bills. A lot of people pay all of their bills with a credit card. So, this something to watch out for. But are the points real? Oh my God, yes. So, just 40,000 points right now in this time saved me about eight to $900 just in flight money, okay? All I had to do was pay the taxes. I mean, it's who doesn't want to do that? So, if one of the points are real, they are real. I get paid nothing from Southwest to do this video, okay? It's just a matter of a review because a lot of times people, and again, this video may not be for everyone. We have some people that's, that's totally against credit cards, that's fine. And then we have some people that's like, you know, I'm just getting started in my credit card journey. It's not that you can't watch it. Just make sure you have the right expectations. And the right expectations is um, you want to make sure that you understand, number one, that you may not get approved this is your first credit card. Number two is that, okay, you know, it, you may not get approved if your score is like 630, 640. You may not. You know, I don't know for sure, but I know you got a much better chance being 660, 670, you know, but then everyone's a different 660, 670. You may be, you know, just only have student loans and one credit card. Chances are you, I mean, it's, it's going to be kind of tough, but you have to have a history of paying someone else on time because you're, this is borrowed money that companies, well, the bank, they're hoping that you pay on time. So just make sure you have the mindset right, okay? So hopefully that video was helpful. Southwest Rapid Rewards credit card, it is real. The perks are real, it's real, okay? So, and I'll let you guys know, uh, I may even send you guys a screenshot of like, you know, the bill or whatever. So, uh, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching yet another video. Um, if you like this video, like it. If you wanna see uh, more videos, um, of course, just subscribe. And if you think someone has a question similar to that, or if they want to know if it was real or not, make sure you share it too. Thank you guys so much, have a great day.